Now, Dickinson County, Virginia has, you know, over 25% poverty rate. Average incomes are under 20,000 a year. You know, people are reliant on all kinds of public assistance, and we need, we need $15. We need a union. A white family that's dependent on food stamps, you know, that's, you know, living in uh, subpar housing, really they're going through the same financial struggles as a black family going through the same thing. Now there's the racial issues that these white poor people don't have to go through. You know, my people aren't getting shot by police, you know, uh, every other week it seems. But absolutely, when it comes to common struggles, we need uh, solidarity. So many times when I hear the word social programs, it seems pretty clear to me that they're talking about black people on social programs. You use the word, that's the implication. You, you're not aware that that's basically a, a way that people who don't like social programs try to dissuade Americans from supporting them? Well, I grew up in a 98.9% .9 white county. You just Wikipedia Dickinson County, Virginia, you know, when you go home tonight. And I'm telling you, I grew up in a town where most work, most uh, households, you know, they did, they were not employed. You know, people were on public assistance. People were, you know, selling drugs. You know, meth is a big problem down there. Pills are really the big problem. Are you trying to tell me that, you know, um, it's just black folks on welfare, just black folks selling drugs? No, it's it's poor people. It's us doing what we got to do to survive. You know, I grew up around white people on welfare. You know, my mama, you know, uh, I mean, we, we've been on welfare when I was a young, young kid. Oh, Congress, 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 why won't you listen to us? We're working hard and we're struggling. We demand justice. the wage that you're getting paid right now in Waffle House? Uh, I do 235 an hour plus tips. Uh, I'm currently being cross-trained on the grill. Uh, Going to be starting at 950. Okay, so when you get to the grill, you get 950 an hour. But did the tips still come in or? or? No, no. When I'm on the grill, the tips will not come in. So what you have now is not as good as 950 an hour then? Uh, not typically. I mean, you get Friday, Saturday nights, you know, I mean, people come into Waffle House, you get tips, but I mean, it's unsteady. The only thing you're really guaranteed is uh, minimum wage, you know, because they have to compensate you if you make under minimum wage, you know. You We've seen corporate growth actually go up in this country, yet wages are stagnant, you know, cost of living's going up. That money's being created. Where is it? It's an embolism, like a, like a blood clot, you know what I'm saying, in your body. You know, it's all folks in one area and it's rotten. That, that's what it is. That top 1% is holding that well. You know, you need to redistribute among the people who can spend it in the economy. You know, the wealthiest people, they can save it. They can do whatever the hell they want. They can send it off to seas. But, you know, if you're making, if you're even making 15 an hour, what are you doing? You're spending it. You're forced to spend it. You don't have really any other choice. That's what stimulates the economy. So, I mean, the only thing I can really say is, you know, is that.